the contrapositive law says if you want to prove p implies q it's the is this you can also prove not q implies not p all right that's a law so here the problem we have is if m n times n is even then it says it implies that either m is even or n is even okay one of them so this can be translated into what this is p and that is the whole thing is q right so let's talk about this so now i need to convert this um, into not q so what is not q not q is as you can see is m is odd right and we have this one or see that that's a classic one we have the or here right so when or becomes and a lot of people miss it it becomes and and n is odd right and what is not p not p is m n is odd so it says if you if m and if m is odd and n is odd then m n is odd that's what it, the rule says right so if for m to be odd what does it mean for some k i can 2 times k plus 1 is a odd and uh, is any odd number right 2j plus 1 is also odd for n isn't it so this times when you do a times of this what does it mean we have 4kj plus 2k plus 2j if you expand you will know this plus 1 right we are multiplying these two unfolding so that becomes you see here we have this we have this this is a multiple of 2 isn't it so that becomes 2 times 2kj plus k plus j plus 1 so you take any k and j if you plug in this will be odd isn't it so that's what we got we got n is odd is odd number which is what we proved here you see that if this is odd that is odd okay let me if m is odd and n is odd then we prove that m n is also odd that's what we proved here so by proving that not q implies not p we are actually implying that p implies q as for the law so that's what the assignment says all right so you can prove anything um, you can pick up any law if i say prove by contrapositive this is what you should take you should see what do i have p for and what is q and then you need to convert that into not q and not p right that's simple isn't it thank you